welcome to another installment of Virtual Studios from the Taft Museum of Art and Urban Sketchers Cincinnati. Today we're going to be discussing architecture and in celebration of the Taft's 200 year anniversary, we'll be referencing a beautiful historic image of the Taft Museum of Art. Architecture is just one more core subject involved in urban sketching and today I'll show you how I map out my sketch and pay close attention to angles, perspective, and light source. But first a little history. The Baum Longworth Sinton Taft House is a National Historic Landmark built about 1820 and is the oldest domestic wooden structure in the area locally and is considered one of the finest examples of federal architecture in the Palladian style in the country. Palladian architecture is a European architectural style inspired by the symmetry, perspective, and values of the formal classical temple architecture of the ancient Greeks and Romans. Charles Phelps Taft and his wife Anna Sinton Taft lived in the mansion until their respective deaths in 1931 and 1927. In 1908, William Howard Taft accepted the nomination for U.S. President underneath the house's portico. The Tafts bequeathed their historic home and private collection of 690 works of art to the people of Cincinnati in 1927. After extensive remodeling and updating, the Baum Longworth Taft House opened as the Taft Museum in 1932. I chose this image of the Taft because it focuses on a main architectural stu structure of the building, the front porch. It has great angles, perspective, lighting, and I really like how the trees on each side frame in the entrance of the building. When starting a sketch, I always start with a large, loose geometric shape and then fine tune the lines down as I continue to sketch. When working with perspective of architecture, it's important to notice if it's one point or two point perspective or multiple vanishing points. This particular image is a two-point perspective with a slight angle starting on the left and one on the right. Notice how the shape of the building isn't a straight-on rectangle, but rather it slants down and, and in on itself on the right side. This is perspective and it gives it more of a realistic appearance. When drawing perspective, keep in mind that the larger area of an object in your drawing may mean it's closest to the viewer, and as it gets smaller, it's farther away from the viewer. It's also important to recognize where things are in relation to each other to get your proportions right. For example, notice the oval windows are directly above each rectangular window and the bottom line of the rectangular windows line up evenly with the top line of the railing on the porch. Also notice how some of my lines are more strong than others. Even though I see lines in the main doors or more lines on the roof, doesn't mean I add every single line in. Sometimes a small, slight suggestion of a line is all you need. When it comes to light and shadow, the light source is coming from the top right of the image. So certain things such as the majority of the front of the building will remain in the lightest color since the sun would be shining on it. I just let the white of the paper show through since it's the lightest and the areas to the left side of the building will be in shadow so we add a bit of a darker color. I also added in some tones for the sky and clouds so that the white building would pop a little bit more. Note that the grass, even though it's not in color, has a much deeper value, so be sure to darken it appropriately. So there you have it. Be sure to share your finished work with us on social media and use hashtags Taft Museum Discovered and USK Cincinnati. Thanks for joining in. Happy sketching!